If the evolutionary model is true, then modern arthropods haven't always existed. In the fossil record, long before there are modern groups of arthropods, such as lobsters and crabs and crayfish and insects and spiders, etc., there should be uh, intermediate uh, forms, non-arthropods which uh, gradually acquire arthropod features, and primitive arthropods not alive today. Modern arthropods, however, should not be present from the earliest rock layers. If the creationists are correct, then every kind of modern arthropod has always existed. Arthropods are among the most common animals alive today. It is certainly not hard to find them, whether it be in terrestrial ecosystems with insects and spiders and scorpions, or in aquatic ecosystems, whether it be lobsters or crayfish or crabs, etc. So arthropods are not only very complex, they are also very common. And if the creationist model holds that all modern kinds of arthropod have always existed, then finding the modern kinds of arthropod in the oldest rocks, Precambrian, Cambrian, etc., this would provide strong support for the creation model. The creationist model claims that they existed when these rocks were laid down, and so therefore this model can be tested. Arthropods are complicated invertebrates. They have complex, segmented limbs, they have an exoskeleton, and their head is incredibly complex, with complex eyes and the fusion of a large number of, of uh, segments to produce the very complicated arthropod head. If the intelligent design model is true, these complex features could not have evolved through gradual steps. There would be no advantage to an individual to have some features of the arthropod head, but not all. To have some features of arthropod limbs, and not all. And since there would be no advantage to having some features of these complex traits, since some features alone would not work, then these animals would never evolve. They would never survive. So in the design model, it is simply impossible for complex traits, such as the complex body plan of arthropods, to develop over a series of transitional stages. This model can then be tested. If design is true, then there should be no fossils of transitional forms, animals which have some, but not all, of the features of arthropods and primitive arthropods which have some but not all of the features of the modern groups. And so if one looks at early rock layers, if the design model is true, these transitional forms and these intermediate forms simply would not exist.